I have a 2005 Chevy Tahoe. My blower doesn't want to work properly. It works when it wants to. My resistor needs to be replaced. This is the resistor that I'm going to put in the uh, place of the old one. This is what comes in the box. You get the resistor, which is totally different looking. You get the wiring harness, which is set up to where it looks like you might have to do some wire cutting and soldering, but we're not going to be doing any cutting or soldering. We're just going to hook it up and make it look like it's uh, factory installed. First thing we want to do is go ahead, we'll come under here and uh, get into your fuse box. Just pull it out of the way. There's a 40 amp fuse that's right here. You want to pull this fuse out because if you don't, while you are changing the wires out on this resistor, you will blow that fuse and that fuse costs like five bucks. Okay, what we're going to do is go down here on the passenger side. We're going to drop this box right here. There's two screws in it. Can't miss them. There's one right there and there's one right there. The screws that come out of the bottom of there or 930 seconds. Now I'll just go ahead and drop this down. Now that we got the panel dropped, as you can see, right there is our old resistor. And it has three wires going to the plug. And it has a separate wiring harness coming out. If you can see it on the left side there, it goes to your blower, which is right there on the right. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop the blower. And I'm gonna take that resistor out. The blower will be easy to take out. There's just a clip at the top. You push it and turn it. As you can see, the blower will drop right out. Go ahead and unplug the uh, wiring harness from your blower. Just take a screwdriver, push it back here on the bottom, and pull it out. And don't let that hit the ground. Okay, now these two screws right here that holds the uh, resistor in place. They are a 730 seconds, and we'll go ahead and remove the screws on those. Totally different setup here, and it looks pretty rough. I'll pull it out and show you what it looks like. Same deal with this harness here. Take the screwdriver, whatever I did with it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Push that clip in. Pull it out. As you can see this one looks pretty rough. As you can see here, how the wire is coming out of this resistor. This is the old one. This goes to the blower. Now this is the wiring harness that comes with the new resistor. As you can see, it's just one plug. You got the plug here that goes into the blower and you got three other wires coming out of the plug that looks like you might have to cut and splice and solder, whatever. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little clip out of here Just push down on the little tab. Just push down on this little tab right here. Pop that out. I'm gonna take my little O-ring remover here. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna stick it back down inside here. See which side it is. It's this side right here. The back of it. Go into the back of this. Push down. Down in there. Put that put that little clip, put that little thing down in there. Should be able to pop the wire out. That's the black one. Purple <coughs> one. And the red one. It's got little clips in there that uh, you just push them in, get rid of them. 
Now, black, purple, red. Remember that when we put this one back together. Now the only thing we got here is the wire for the uh, blower. Okay, now I'm gonna get inside the truck. And this is the wiring harness that went to the old resistor. It's got a clip in it also. We're gonna take and push it inward on both sides right here. We're going to pull that clip out. Now that, that clip's out, what you want to do is you want to go into the front on this one. You want to take and put it right inside here. And you want to push it. Right inside there. clip there and see it'll pull right out another little clip right here push it out of the way purple one will come out now for the red one push that little clip out of the way real small screwdriver will work on this also. There it is. I'm going to take this harness, which is the new harness with the new resistor. I'm going to take and I'm going to put my red down in here. I'm going to put my purple down in here. I'm going to put my black down in here. Okay, now that I got them all in there, turn around, make sure they look uniform in there. Now, all I have to do, even though they don't clip in there, I'm going to take this little clip here and I'm going to shove it in here, like so. Make sure it snaps. And now I got my harness all set up. All I gotta do is put my resistor in, plug it in, plug my blower in, and hook it back up. I'm gonna do that right now. Now this new one will go right back up in there where the old one came out. Just make sure your harness connection part is facing towards you when you put it in. Okay, that's in there like so. Now you can go ahead, take your harness, plug it up just look like a factory fit there it's not coming out nothing's coming out it's all nice and tight now I'm gonna go ahead and hook the blower up and put the blower back in okay I got the blower back in and all hooked up got the resistor in got the harness on was no cutting soldering of any kind now I'll go ahead and take the fuse push it back in Go test the blower. I go ahead and turn the key on. Now I got a blower. Works really well now. Wasn't doing that before. Sometimes it wouldn't work at all. I have an automatic climate control system, so this resistor was $102 before taxes. Thanks for watching. 
Hope this helps. Comment, subscribe.